Well, Lisa, the uh, poll's been pretty slow across the city. We're at a polling place right now in Mount Auburn, and actually plenty of poll workers were waiting for people to come in, but uh, no voters at this point. Turnout is expected to be 15 to 20 percent. The mayoral race and off-year election, today's primary is still an important race. We've added 7,500 jobs. we put 100 cops on the street. We've balanced the budget. We're investing in neighborhoods, and I think we, should, uh, we shouldn't turn back now on that progress. We caught up with incumbent Mayor John Cranley this morning when he cast his ballot in Hyde Park. He's hopeful he'll survive today's three-way primary. For him to be knocked out of the race at this point, the two challengers would have to finish as first and second in the primary. Yvette Simpson's been crisscrossing the city, meeting with voters at polling places. The city councilwoman's been an opponent of the mayor at times at City Hall. She's running on a change of tone. Rob Richardson, who's never run for office, has been working to convince voters that a newcomer is what the city needs. Well, people are going to see a big difference in this administration. We're going to be out in the community. One of the first things we're going to do is create some offices out in community. I want to have mayoral offices in communities where people can come up. While we have three candidates, you really only have two choices. You have a choice between the incumbents who I don't think have provided the long-term leadership that the city needs or um, me, which we're going to embrace a different path, an innovative leadership path where we can work together, work for the long term and not just focus on the next political moments. Well, the mayoral primary is a, an open primary. Anyone from any party could jump into this race, but really you're only dealing with three candidates. All three of them are Democrats. No, Republicans are third party candidates in this race. And the decision will be made today who will be facing off in November. Reporting live, Andrew Setters, WLWT News 5. All right, Andrew, thank you. And we will have all of your election results covered tonight on air and on WLWT.com as they come into the newsroom.